Greetings and welcome to Math 240 Applied Statistics. So today I'm Jessica Young, your instructor, and I wanna give you a quick walkthrough of the course and what the expectations are. And yes, it's gonna be quick. I like to make smaller size videos um, so that you can digest it all at one time. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Got my screen over here, just in case you see me looking over in this direction. What you'll notice when you log in is, this is, may not be your course, it's okay. Um, but if it is, that's okay too. You have the course menu tools, MySNHU, Online Student Services, Shapiro Library, Help. Okay, that's just your menu across the top. And you're probably familiar with it by now. But what you want to pay close attention to here is the announcements. I like to post lots of resources within the announcements to help you through the course material. And that might be a video from me, or it may be a video from one of my colleagues who are walking you through some of the course material as well. So very important announcement here is about Zybooks. Is this a part of the assignments that we will use um, throughout the course? And I'll hit that in the, in the syllabus area when we look at that. But here's your registration information and there's two announcements. One of them actually gives you a tutorial. So let's see how we're gonna use that. We're just gonna click on course menu and go to learning modules. So here are the learning modules, of course, um, an instructor, you won't have instructor resources or facilitation notes. However, you will have module one assignment information and here's module one and breakdown of everything that's going to be covered in module one. Okay, so we do have a discussion this week and you'll notice here we have participation activities and challenge activities. These two assignments are in Zybooks and I will go over to Zybooks to kind of show you what those look like. But let's first jump back just a little bit to the start here. I want us to look at the syllabus. Okay, so I will let you read through the syllabus um, with all the required materials. Of course, here's Zybooks, that's very important because that's about a third of your grade in this class, those assignments. So I wanna make sure that we um, take care of that. Now, the grade distribution is something that when I was a student, it was very important to me to know how I was gonna be graded from week to week. So here the assignment category, as well as the grading system. Down here is the weekly assignment schedule. So if this is a page, page four of the syllabus that you wanna print out to know what's due that week and what you need to be doing, it is here for the viewing and printing or saving, which I advise you to do. So notice you've got a reading for module one, you have the participation and challenge activities, we have a discussion and then the 1-4 review. Okay, so I've got this open in a couple of places. So that is the syllabus also here on the start here page, as well as the discussion page, we have general questions. So if you have general questions, please feel free to ask me those. Um, I will be checking that, checking in on that every day. Okay. Um, all right, we are back to module one. We've gone through the activities, the Zybooks. So let's look at that. When you log into Zybooks, let's say you're in module one, what is data? Okay. So when I get into module 1 1, 1.1, 1 .1, what is data? Okay, so you will read through the material, and then you hit your first participation activity. So the amount of data collected worldwide in 2016 is about, let's see, 2016, here we are. And that looks to be about 10. So I will select 10 and Zybooks will give you feedback and let you know whether you're correct or not correct. So let's just see, oh, got that correct and didn't mean to. All right, let's see how this. 
All right, incorrect. The early internet wasn't invented until the early 1990s. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up, maybe read a little bit and then come here and answer the question, which was a substantial source of computerized data before the year 1990. All right, none of the above. This is partition act participation activity 1.1.1 data done, all right? You also have what is called challenge activity. So here's more participation activities. And this kind of gives you an idea of how Zybooks works and the different types of questions you will encounter. And reset. All right, another participation activity. A few of those there. And as you can see, they're kind of chunked. So you get a little bit here and then do a little more, read a little, do an assignment, read a little, do an assignment. Now here's our first challenge activity. I'll go ahead and hit start. Is a person's height a quantitative or categorical variable? Well, you know what it is, but it's categorical. Let's say categorical. All right. So no, we expected quantitative. Let's go next. Is a person's weight quantitative or categorical? Okay, so they're giving you another opportunity. Here's the thing with Zybooks. It's kind of an all or nothing deal. Do all of the challenge activity, you get all of the points for that particular one. And they all add up together for 30 points each week on the challenge activities. The participation activities are 10 points each week. Every week you have participation and challenge activities. You need to do all of them. So let's say I only do one of three challenge activities for week one. Well, my score would be a 33% because I didn't do them all. Remember too, you can do these over and over again um, as you need to, to get the answer correct so we can map over that score. Now, again, sorry, the scores don't map over. I will input those at the end of the week um monday monday starting monday following the week that these should be worked in and that is side books so feel the excitement there all right let's look up here course menu you've got our learning modules which is where we are the next thing we have is discussions and if you notice on the syllabus there's three discussions um and of course again three discussions they're worth 25 points each so it's almost 10% of your grade. 7.5% of your grade is the discussion. So they're pretty important. And the one thing that is the most important with the discussions to me is to number one, answer all the questions. But number two, the discussion rubric. I want you to know how you are going to be assessed. So make sure that you access that. And here it is here talks about what you're going to put in your uh, the expectations for your initial posts and there the expectations for your response posts um, and you can go through the rubric and make sure that you have hit all of those categories now this is the undergraduate discussion rubric it may be consistent across all of your undergrad classes however when we get into the assignment rubrics which we will do now under assignments each of these assignments here and the two projects. So click on the assignment, requirements and rubric. And it was already listed there for us. Let me go back to it. Here's the thing with the assignments and the projects. You want to read through all of the assignment. You are going to kind of just digest it in pieces. Don't try to do everything at one time. Start at generate a report representative sample of the data, okay? So this is gonna come in module two. I'll give you more guidance then, um, but I wanna make sure you understand what you are to do with these. Um, you'll have a module two assignment template. And just take a quick look at it. I'm not editing that out. That's just a part of <laughs> what I use to grade discussions. 
All right. Um, we've got selling price and area analysis. So all these bracketed areas are things you will take out of your paper before you submit it, but a lot of them are designed to help you along in what you need to put in your own paper. So of course you'll throw your name in here and then scroll down. Um, the introduction, which you're supposed to put there, there are helpful hints within this paper, but I also like, a scatter plot, the pattern. All right. This gives you everything you need to know as well. Not everything, but you want to look at the different areas. All those areas that were in the paper are here. And there again, they're here again in your rubric. Okay. Here's how I grade your assignments. I look at the proficient area. I look to see, do you have everything that is in the proficient category? If you don't, we bump down to needs improvement, okay? So make sure when you've completed, uh, generated a representative sample of the data, you are doing everything in that proficient category at least. And if you've done everything in proficient, and then I jump over to exemplary to see if you have, in this case, exceeded proficiency in an exceptionally clear manner. What exceptionally clear is not is repeating it. It's not taking quotes from the book that aren't really relevant, um, just to have something to fill the space. I appreciate concise information. Um, when you talk about analyzing your sample, what additional information would help make the point clear? Okay, so keep that in mind. And again, I grade based off the rubric, so you will find all of your feedback within the rubric and the Turnitin submission. Okay, that is um, one of the assignments. Of course, you've got grades. Those are your grades and unique to you. Um, floating right back to the discussions. Here's the general questions. And if you have any, please let me know post them in there and I will, I get a notification when you post it in there. I'll just say that. Okay, so our first discussion, um, you've got your module one discussion data. This is what I'm looking for in your initial post. And that's what will get you to proficient. Okay, so be sure to keep that in mind. Under the engagement, that's what I'm looking for there, okay? So be sure to look at the discussion rubric, look at the assignment rubrics. Um, and I did give you a bit of a prelude into module two. I will post more videos, either ones that I make myself or ones for my colleagues to help you along with the class. And I believe that is all I wanted to say in this one video. And thank you for listening. If you have any questions again, general questions, or you can email me at the email that is within the class. All right. Have a good one.